Alright guys, today we're going to be fixing a Snarling Dog's Blues Balls pedal. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, it's because there's an 11 year old that lives here and he never stops talking. But uh, no worries. This pedal is just a 90's uh, Charlie Stringer brand uh, Snarling Dog's pedal. And the reason I like it so much is because I've just never had a wall that sounded this good. And so hopefully by showing you how to fix the problem with this one, uh, maybe you can fix one of your own pedals the same way. So I've gone through and diagnosed. Uh, there's a part that I've already filmed that'll show how to take that off. This, this plate. It's just got this pin through it, but I took this little part out of it. And uh, see the wire split. So I don't want to try to resolder this wire because there's so much movement right here. So I'm going to put a new wire in there, a slightly thicker one. Hopefully it'll still fit. It might. We might have to do some strange alterations to make that fit. But uh, tools you're going to need: soldering iron, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, possibly some wire snips. And in this case, for me, I needed a hammer and just a long metal prod. Uh, this is actually an Allen wrench, but it worked. To be able to knock that pin through. Because that was really annoying. All right, so let's get going. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna leave this soldered in place for now. We're gonna trace this wire and see where it goes inside. So I'm gonna have to zoom in. You also need a Yoohoo to get things really, you know, really going. Okay. Zoom in for you. All right. Trace the wire around. Follow the brown wire right here, soldered to this little point. It looks almost like this was hand soldered, which is cool. It probably was. I'm gonna pull in this wire, pull it all the way through. There we go. So this is our broken, broken wire. And it looks like it was soldered to this point right here. So I'm gonna move this wire out of the way and try to quickly desolder it. I'm gonna try to leave all the solder on the joint so I can just reuse it and not have to introduce a bunch more solder. Don't wanna make a mess. super quick and here's our part can't see it anyway there's our old wire here's our new wire not yet cut to length but I have the end stripped and tinned a little bit there are many excellent soldering videos on YouTube if you guys need to know how to tin a wire Okay. So I know I can get that in there pretty easy. What I should have done first was fish the wire through this way. It's gonna be a lot easier to come through this end. Maybe. All right, there we go. We got the wire through. Pull a little bit farther. We'll leave all the length on it for now. Make sure we know where we're at. Gonna heat up the wire a little bit. Heat up the solder. Plug it in place and hold. Okay. That seems like a pretty reliable connection. Alright. 
Now the fun part. We're gonna take this wire off here. Go grab my solder, buddy. This guy's another useful tool. He helps me out all the time. Just gonna alligator clamp him in place. There we go. Got my solder again. Soldering iron again. Hold on to the wire. Slightly, gently pull. Got that guy off. And we got the wire out. I'm going to clip this new wire down just a bit because it's much too long for our purposes. And we're going to see if we can fish this back through the hole. If we can't, not the end of the world. I'm hoping we get lucky. Oh yeah, look at that right through there. Alright. Now I'm going to clamp this whole little section in place because that's got to be bent down pretty far. There we go. Grab some solder over here. Wipe off the tip of my iron. Get a little crud on it. Okay. What about the wire and the solder? That should do that. Hopefully, hopefully that will take care of the problem. I got this uh, pedal probably about five years ago. And I just really, really enjoyed the sound. It has these different settings, white room, voodoo, shaft <laughs> Richard Roundtree so I really like the sound of it and I hated uh, uh, the idea of losing it so much that I, I tried to buy another one off of eBay I couldn't find this model so I got the uh, the two alarm firewall wasn't really satisfied with it it didn't sound anything like this and then the um, I got the Bootsy pedal which is another made by this company they're not around anymore I don't believe if they are they just make picks and stuff but so, uh, so yeah, that's that's it for that. I'm going to put it back together. Which is unfortunately the most pain in the ass part of it. If you're putting a wall pedal back together, the easiest way i found to do it, take your potentiometer here, your actual wall pot, pull it all the way up so it's turned all the way this way. And when you put your gears back together here, just push down on it and it'll it should set it right you can always take it apart and reset it to get the sweep you want out of it but I'm trying to uh, keep things kind of how they were originally because I really like the sound all right I'm gonna put this back together you guys don't need to see all that it's super boring and I'm gonna have some about you I'll be back Wow, 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 wow,